Hello everybody, and I've been playing Ghosts for 11 hours, so excuse me if I sound tired or I say weird things. It's 3 p.m., I haven't slept, I'm pretty sleepy, but it was totally worth it to bring you guys this gameplay. But before I explain what's so awesome about this gameplay and get into what I want to talk about, let me first explain what class I am using. So the gun that I'm using is the Vector CRB, which is a SMG. The secondary that I'm using is the P226. The attachments that I have on my primary, the Vector, is the grip, and I think it's called the muzzle break. <laughs> it makes you more effective at long range. So whichever attachment does that, that's what I was using. And for perks, I'm using sleight of hand, dead silence, amplify, hardline, and ping. And the stripe package that I'm using is the assault stripe package with the IMS, the vulture, and the helo pilot. So this gameplay, as you may have guessed by me saying that it was awesome, is a chem strike, K-E-M strike gameplay using the assault strike package. So not only do you guys get to see these different kill streaks in action multiple times, you also get to see the chem strike and how it affects the map and all that good stuff. Now I will say that we do actually end up losing this game, which is really unfortunate. I definitely could have helped my team more in terms of capping flags, but as soon as I got on a roll, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna risk my life <laughs> to cap flags. So I just went for the chem strike over going for the win. So it's really unfortunate that I couldn't get both, but sometimes you just have to choose your priorities, man. And obviously kills are more important than objectives. <laughs> That's not true, but when it's for your first chem strike, it's kind of a big deal. It's more important than capping flags. But besides just showing you this gameplay and talking about the class or whatever that I was using to get the chem strike, I thought that I would just let you guys know how I came to get it. Because the game was not easy for me when I first started playing it. I didn't like the fact that the maps were really, really, really big. I couldn't really find a gun that was awesome for me. I found guns that were good, but not ones that really fit me and fit everything that I wanted to do. And the perks that I was using were not exactly helpful towards me staying alive in terms of how I play the game. So I just want to explain to you guys what I decided to use and the process that I went through in order to just be better at Ghost because I was sucking. I was like sucking really bad. <laughs> so the first thing that I feel is really, really important above the gun, above the attachments, above equipment is the perks. Perks in Ghost are amazing and they have the capability to take this game from something that is campy and frustrating into something that is easy and super, super fun. And the main perk, the main one that will change your life in Ghost is Ping. Now, if you don't know what Ping does, every time you kill an enemy, it sends out like a little motion detector sensor thing that detects all of the enemies in the area. So you kill someone, you look at your map, and you know where everyone is is it's so good if you go into a building there's a bunch of people camping in there just ping them kill one you get to kill them all it's just trust me guys trust me equip ping you will never ever look back it is an amazing amazing perk it made this game so much more fun for me i went from struggling to get a helicopter to getting chem strikes getting freaking helo pilots all the time it, just by using that one Hurt. By the way, I suck at using the helo pilot. I need some flying lessons. Don't make fun of me <laughs> Another thing that I'm gonna let you guys know about that is extremely important Especially in ghosts with how big the maps are is using dead silence and using amplify if you have a headset This is basically like having your own Little radar so not only do you ping people and have a radar you can hear where everyone is now I was using off the grid before I unlocked amplify just because I don't know I felt like I never really had one up on the other team and by them seeing me on the radar It was like nah not a good idea But when I had amplify it doesn't matter if they can see me because I can hear them I can hear exactly where they're coming from. I am more prepared for them than they are for me by seeing me on the radar. So if you do not have a headset already and you want to be good at ghosts, you're serious about being good at ghosts, make sure you get one, get Amplify, Dead Silence, Ping, trust me, you're set. Just, just trust me guys, just try it out, just try it out, it's awesome. <laughs> 
Now I just want to discuss guns really quickly. So I'm just an SMG player in general. I just that's just what I feel most comfortable at. A lot of people were like, oh, SMGs don't work in this game, and you would assume that they wouldn't be very good in this game because of how big the maps are. So you'd think that assault rifles would be the way to go. But for me, I don't know, man. SMGs, I don't know if this would be the same for everybody. But I just feel a lot more comfortable using an SMG and they just work a lot better for me. Now I've used pretty much all of the SMGs and the one that I have found is the best is the Vector. I don't know if my mind will change, but obviously this game is with the Vector. I find that it has really good range on it. I do use the attachment to make it have better range, but it has really good range. It has really good damage and overall it's just, it's just a really solid gun. So make sure to check out the Vector if you are a fellow SMG. SMG player. If you do use assault rifles, the MSBS, I think it's called, that one is an amazing assault rifle because you can basically one burst somebody. It's a three burst weapon. You just shoot them once and they die. And you know how low your health is in this game. So if you are an assault rifle user, definitely check out that gun. If you are an SMG user, check out the Vector. And the last thing that I want to talk about is just the strike package to use to go for a chem strike. Now with Modern Warfare 3, it was almost like you had to use specialists. Like you didn't have to, but using assault was going to do absolutely nothing for you. Using support could do something for you, but specialist was definitely the way that you wanted to go if you wanted to get a Moab. Whereas in Ghost, I definitely feel like it doesn't matter what strike package you use. Like it really doesn't matter. I think it's more about the perks, like I said, than anything. So just make sure that you pick the right perks to fit your playstyle and to fit what makes you feel comfortable and you will be all good. Everything else really doesn't matter. But what I would suggest is if you are using the assault strike package, don't aim for kill streaks that you cannot get. Like if you're finding yourself struggling to get an IMS, for example, don't equip a helo pilot. Not just yet, don't do it just yet. Just equip the low ones, level up a little bit, unlock some more stuff, find the perks that make you feel comfortable, and then start to raise your kill streaks. So I think that pretty much sums it up for, I guess you could call this a tips video, but it's more like I just recognized what I had to do in order to be better at the game and have just a better time in Ghost. And I thought that I would share it with you guys because I know a lot of people are finding it very hard to adjust. It is a big adjustment. It feels different. It feels like old school Call of Duty with like something new thrown in. So it is it is an adjustment, which is why I just wanted to share this with you guys. Share my experiences and things that I learned and my knowledge and the world will bloom and trees and flowers and blossom and stuff and it will be beautiful. Also, I wanted to ask you guys for your class suggestions for the next what class video. If you don't know what it is, basically you guys suggest a primary gun, a secondary perks, all that good stuff, lethal, tactical, you suggest it and whichever one is thumbed up the most or whichever one is suggested frequently I will use and I will use it in a video do a live commentary and see how well I can do with it so please do leave your suggestions for what class in the comment section and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and it was awesome I hope so if you did please do give it a thumbs up and if you are new make sure to subscribe okay guys I'll speak to you later bye